So this question is a diagram question. Now, I love diagram questions because it allows us to really use the visual information provided here to help us answer the question. Um, the information provided says a procedure allows a researcher to determine the concentration of glucose, Y, so our Y axis is glucose, in micrograms per milliliter, okay, in a soil sample by measuring the absorbance X, right, so absorbance is our X axis, at a specific wavelength of light. The scatter plot shows this relationship for five soil samples. So we have our five soil samples here. Which equation is the most appropriate linear model for the data? So if we take that very literally, right, which equation is the most appropriate linear model for the data? It tells me, or it's basically asking, which of these equations will give us this beta, right? These data points. So why don't we just plug these data points in and see which, you know, which model or which example, which answer gives us, gets us there. So I am going to do that. Um, I am going to, in fact, let's do something else first. I'm going to, first of all, draw kind of like a line of best fit here. Um, I know that's not perfect, but it's close to being perfect. Um, so anytime I see linear, I'm thinking y equals mx plus b. I notice that all my answer choices, however, are in y equals b plus mx. So just keep that in mind. So that means these, this first number here is a uh, y-intercept value. My y-intercept, based upon how I've drawn this, kind of goes through the origin. You know, I could be off a little bit. It could be a little bit lower, a little bit higher, but I doubt it's too much further away. So my options for y-intercept are 1.5, 10, and 90. Given those three options, I'm going to say 1.5 is best because, hey, you know, my line I'm sure is not perfect, but I don't think it's going to be 10, and I definitely don't think I'm so far off that it would be 90, right? In fact, I know that it's not 90. I know that it's not 10. So all we have left is choice A and B, so 90x and 10x. Now, with that, I am going to use these equations. So let's use choice A. So y equals 1.5x plus 90. I'm sorry, 1.5 plus 90x. 1.5. And I'm going to use this very first point here. So this point, I would say, is x equals 0.09 and y equals 10, okay? So I'm gonna take those points and plug them in to the equation. So here I would get 10, right, instead of y, equals 1.5 plus 90 times 0 0.09. I go to my calculator. What is 90 times 0 0.09? I get 8.1. So I have 1.5 plus 8.1 equals 10, and this ends up being 9.6. That's pretty close, right? That is very, very close, especially given that I estimated, you know, this 10 and the 0 0.09. So I'm liking that. For choice B, let's try the exact same thing. So Y equals 1.5 plus 10X. And again, using my same numbers, that would turn into 10 equals 1.5 plus 10 times 0 0.09. And we already know that that's going to be way off, right? There's no way that's even close um, because this would be like 1.5 plus 0 0.9, and that's nowhere close to being 10. So for that reason, B is gone. Choice A is the correct answer for us. And we could have just jumped straight there, to be honest. I could have gone directly, instead of drawing the line here and doing the y-intercept thing, I could have just said, okay, I'm going to choose this point right here and start plugging these values into the equations. And if A had not worked, I would try B, C, and D. Uh, but the reason why I did draw the line is just because it helped me to get rid of two answer choices pretty immediately based upon the y-intercept. Um, and leaving us with just these two, A and B, to choose from.